Hello and welcome. I'm striking a pose for some reason, but you can't see me. But if you did, hmm. Anyways, my name is Idris and today we're looking at sculpting hair in ZBrush and specifically ZBrush Core. So you start off uh, with a basic shape that you sculpt down uh, roughly into the form, the big forms you want using the clay buildup tool. Essentially, clay buildup is really good for um, making your, uh, your, your initial uh, shape. So looking at the reference, trying to push, expand, add and subtract, mostly subtract at this point using Alt, just trying to uh, move everything into position. Dynamesh, increase the Dynamesh resolution and keep adding to the, the volume. Uh, I'm about to uh, remove symmetry. The haircut is mostly symmetrical in this design, but so that's why I'm, I'm starting with symmetry. But then I'm going to drop out of symmetry because hair is very, very, very rarely symmetrical. Uh, and then, still with the clay brush, I'm going to start to uh, define. See there, remove symmetry. And using the clay brush by adding, starting to um, sculpt in the, the flow of the, the hair. So go around the model. Just adding for now. Working my way around. This works for um, stylized hair, but mainly um, I remember when I started using ZBrush, um, I was very afraid of um, doing hair because I thought it was going to be very, very different and very difficult. But if you know how to sculpt anything, you know how to sculpt hair. It's not because it's hair that it, the software changes drastically for, for no reason. If you can sculpt the nose, you can sculpt hair. You're just taking a rough shape and and, and sculpting it into the, the form that happens to be hair. So going around, smoothing it out. Want to get rid of the, um, the some of the strokes that uh, the artifacts that happen with um, the clay buildup brush. But you want to keep the um, the hints of the form. There's a little strand on the side. I wanted to add to break up the form. Now with the damn standard standard brush, uh, start to. Uh, add with alt and remove uh, without anything. The, the default is uh, the sculpt in, alt adds. Um, with the default you, you, you want to uh, refine the, the, the strokes you, um, you created with the uh, clay buildup brush and you want to work your transitions in and with the, uh, the alt version you want to add, um, uh, add a, a bit of a sharp edge and then you just go around your model looking at all the, the little creases you could uh, increase so yeah basically that's it that's all there is to it you just take a form shape it into position then use the uh, the clay buildup brush uh, try to make the make out the flow of the hair and then using a uh, damn standard brush, you just refine what you did, smooth it, refine, smooth it, and then, uh, then we're going to uh, refine, a bit, refine it a bit more with the hard polish brush.
work on the transitions uh, on the forehead. to move around the, the model to work evenly. I don't want to spend too much time in, in a single area, specifically because this model was a speed sculpt. There with a hard polish brush. Um, if you want to emphasize the styling, uh, it's nice to choose uh, some uh, some forms to um, to uh, to make flatter planes, nice transitions, sharp transitions on some strands of the hair, um, because you're actually making a decision. Uh, you you don't want to use the hard polish brush on every strand of hair. You you want to pick some. And, and and make them sharper. Uh, that way you you give a, a nicer sculptural quality to your model. And since you're not doing it everywhere, you're making a decision as an artist. Uh, it's nice to, um... sorry about that. Uh, it's nice to, to um, show off some things you to emphasis some things you want to show so it's going to be uh, a strand uh, a lump of hair you pick the ones you want to emphasize uh, some you want to have a, a sharp edge so the uh, the light hits it in a particular way and it will help uh, sell out the form a little bit better uh, now with the damn standard brush again uh, a nice final pass uh, using making it very small and using the alt I'm just trying to add a bit of um, of strands of hair uh, loose strands of hair trying to make it feel more like hair instead of uh, big uh, lumps of hair you don't want to do it too much because you, you'll never be able to to sculpt every strand of hair that's not possible uh, but you do want to give it uh, a bit of, um, of that hair texture. So you add it in, smooth it out, and what's left is a bit of a, a, a strand texture. So, Trying to match the flow of the hair. Making some bigger cuts to make uh, some lumps stand out, make them feel like they flow in and out of each other. And now with the move brush, uh, move topo in this instance we're going to reshape uh, the hair a bit to um, to flow more naturally and to match the reference a little bit better and using the pinch brush pinch brush we're going to clamp the hair uh, a little bit to feel more like hair again mostly pinch on the end of the, the strands because that's usually the way hair behaves. And that's about it.
Thank you for watching and uh, happy sculpting.